Hello, my name is Shallow, and this game is Chex Quest. Uh, Chex Quest is a game that came out back in the 90s, um, which, as the name suggests, was a promotional stunt by Chex, the cereal company. Uh, it is exactly what it looks like. It is a Doom partial conversion. Total conversion? I think partial is probably the best way to describe it. It's got a few uh, Doom textures still hanging around in there, and uh, in fact, the original release of Chex Quest included the entire uh, lineup of Doom maps in the file. You're not supposed to do that, technically. <laughs> technically, that's illegal. Uh, they weren't accessible through normal gameplay, but you could use console commands or uh, editing programs at the time to get yourself into the later levels of Doom. Essentially, the Czechs company were pirating Doom to everybody. Hey, that's fun. As you can see, Chex Quest is a non-violent game. I think everybody's familiar with the whole Chex Quest lore. At this point, it's a bit of a curiosity uh, on the internet, so there's been a million videos on it. And of course, most recently, Civi did one. I get requests all the time to uh, check out Chex Quest, and it has been on my to-do list the last year or so. I uh, just never really got around to it. There's a lot of Doom coming out all the time. It's just an absolute fire hose of content. Really good stuff, and of course, there's a huge backlog of really good stuff to play as well, so Chex Quest always kind of got pushed back. Uh, but we're doing it today. This is a, uh, this is the original release of Chex Quest that I'm playing right now. Um, it did receive an update in the form of Chex Quest 2 a few years later, which is, in fact, not a full game like Chex Quest 1 is. It's an add-on. You need the original Chex Quest to play it. It's sort of a map pack. It, uh, was kind of rushed out the door, so it's not entirely finished, and that resulted in, uh, the creators of Chex Quest coming back relatively recently and releasing Chex Quest 3. Designed for modern source ports, including updated versions of Chex Quest 1 and 2, and an entirely new third episode. And that's what we're going to be playing today. Let me boot that up real quick. Here we go. Chex Quest 3. Including Chex Quest 1, and if we wait on the title screen here, Chex Quest 2 as well. <laughs> Both of which have been updated, uh, are up to much higher standards, something that the uh, original creators always wanted for the game and uh, now is finally possible. And of course, it's the third episode featuring Chex Warrior's glorious buttocks that- Look at that! Look at how shiny- Holy shit! Damn, boy! He thick! I tell you, for a square man, he is round where it counts. All right. We're just gonna hop right into Rescue on Bazoik, and uh, luckily, with modern source ports and uh, a passionate community behind this game, we actually get to see the cutscenes that were included in the original disc version of Chex Quest, but are a little hard to come by these days. They're obviously not included in the wad you can find floating around. It's sort of a separate thing uh, that, that played from the disc. The Doom engine does not like to play videos <laughs> natively, but uh, GZ Doom will do it. Check this out. Bazoik, launching particles of rock into space. One of these asteroids was captured by the squadron and brought to our labs. We were investigating these blobules as proof of cereal life on other planets when we discovered that they actually contain eggs to an evil cereal eating creature from another dimension. We call them Flemoids. Eggs are exposed to nutritional substances. The eggs hatch. Hmm? 
preposterous. We have a nutritional development center in the caverns of Bazoic. They're growing fruit and vegetables, and they haven't had any trouble. General, two days ago we lost contact with Bazoic. We can only assume the Flemoids have taken over. To make matters worse, we have found that conventional weapons seem to have no effect on Flemoids. We need a volunteer to fly to the cabins of Bazoic and attempt a rescue of our citizens there. That's ridiculous. What soldier would be fool enough to enter a cavern full of unstoppable flamoids from another dimension? By recalibrating the phase frequency of our soldiers to match that of our transporters, we can send the flamoids back to their own dimension. We need a volunteer. I'm from Czech Squadron, and I volunteer. So here we are, new and improved Chex Quest 1. Mostly it's gonna look the same. Some updated textures here and there. The sound, I don't know what they did with the sound, but the sound is a lot better. It doesn't pop and crackle as much as the original. Uh, where you'll see the biggest differences is in Chex Quest 2, which was really rushed to capitalize on the surprise success of the first game, um, which the creators have gone back and touched up fairly significantly, uh, but more or less this is the same game. As you can see, this is nice and compatible with my uh, status bar, so we've got the widescreen status bar, and we've got my little uh, custom one here that, that works as well. Uh, <laughs> as you can see over there, I have changed the uh, ammo readout as well as the kill counter. We're not killing them anymore. We're sending them back to their home planet. So instead of kills, it just says bye now. <laughs> I really wanted to get my status bar modular. That's what I was working on um, this last day or two, uh, trying to get it to dynamically display different things depending on which game I was using it on. I can't, I can't get that working. I'm out of ideas. I couldn't figure it out, so <laughs> for now, it's hard-coded to Chex Quest, and I'll have to manually change all that text and stuff back, which is odd. Hey, baby. Man, you got an upgrade. <laughs> Chex General looking, looking kind of good. Hey, hear me out. <laughs> um... There is, I'm gonna re be repeating stuff constantly. I'm sure that a million people have heard already because this is, this has been done to death. There is a uh, brutal checks quest. If instead of zorching the uh, Flemoids back home, you wanna just kill them. That's a thing you can do. I thought about <laughs> loading this up with that mod just for fun, but uh, I don't know, this is so wholesome. Why would you, why would you mess with that? GZ Doom already splatters their, their gooey green blood all over the walls. Look at that. <laughs> Originally, Chex Quest would not have done that. That's a thing GZ Doom does. What have we got? Red key, red door, here we go. I'm missing something. Hang on. I'm missing the, uh, the chain gun. No, oh, where is it? It's over here. Right? Oh, no. As much as I enjoy 
Shaq's quest, uh, going for more like realistic settings, which <laughs> can you believe a, a promotional game given away for free in boxes of Czech's cereal, like significantly pushed doom mapping forward? That's crazy. Is it uh, back at the start? Is that where the chain gun is? Yeah, the, the texture work is much better than the Doom IWADs, and, and even the level designs are much less abstract. These are <laughs> these are like real places. There's there's a lot of you know subtle world building going on here. <laughs> Free game that came in boxes of Chex cereal. Ridiculous. Now, where these interdimensional goo creatures have received flying mechanical mech suits, I, I do not know. I couldn't tell you. Jack's armor? Perfect. Look at this. I love these uh, new illustrations of all the characters. The originals did sort of have their charm. Look at this guy. Oh, I love him. Glorious beard. Uh, the originals with the uh, kind of crunchy 3D renders were nice. That was quite fun. But uh, these look like the sort of illustrations you see on the box, uh, back of a box of cereal. I don't know if they still do those. They used to do them all the time back in the day. All right. Let's go. into the storage facility. Just in case there was any doubt that this is in fact a Doom map set, we find ourselves here in the Chex crate maze. You gotta have a crate maze, it's the law. Ooh, that's all the ammo, all right. Found some more. <laughs> Oh, I love the MIDI for this level. Sounds like a Crash Bandicoot MIDI. <laughs> oh, I love that game. Ooh, I got my uh, PlayStation emulator all up and running. I should, I should play Crash again. Whoever owns the rights to Crash Bandicoot these days, um, if you're listening, I do in fact own that game. <laughs> I have a disc sitting uh, right over here. You can't see that. I, I don't have a camera on. I have a I have a disc for it. I do not have a PlayStation for it. Not anymore. So <laughs> emulation is legal. Leave me alone. Here we go, new gun. The Phasing Zorcher. That's the plasma rifle. <laughs> I don't think Chex Quest ever gives you like the BFG or the super shotgun. Possibly not even the rocket launcher now that I think of it. It is weird that they give you the, uh, the plasma gun on map two. Oh, never mind. Here's the rocket launcher. I mean, the Zorch propulsor. We're just sending them home, okay? They're fine. <laughs> Look at them, they're much happier where they're going. <laughs> we'll need the blue key there. That will have unlocked something. Red key, I don't have that either. I have yellow key, where's the yellow door? All right, we'll come back here later when we've got more keys. Oh, look at that, the key sprite is new. Hey, that's neat, you didn't have to do that, but you did. <laughs> For such a simple little project, the attention to detail and the uh, I don't know, man, just the passion behind it is great. <laughs> There's a Chex Quest HD out now. 
you can get it on Steam, and it just doesn't hit the same. You can tell it's sort of a corporate cash grab trying to trying to uh, bank on your nostalgia. It, it just doesn't feel the same. Where's the yellow door? The heck, where is it? Oh, hang on, I haven't been down here yet. The original Chex Quest, I'm fairly certain if I'm remembering correctly, was not even... Like, it, 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 they didn't commission this made. They didn't decide, hey, let's make this game. It was just a dude who worked at Chex at the time, who was also really into Doom, just sort of made this on his own time, and then had to convince the... <laughs> the Czech's marketing team or whatever. That like, hey, this Doom thing is kind of big right now. <laughs> I made Czech's themed levels for it. Uh, I bet if we put those in boxes, kids will bug their parents to buy it. <laughs> and it worked. He was absolutely right. And then, of course, they immediately demanded more Chex Quest and made him rush out the Chex Quest 2. I think the uh, rocket launcher in this. Yeah, no splash damage. Neat. Did I turn on God Mode or something? Why am I at 200-200? <laughs> Not that Chex Quest is, like, terribly difficult or anything. It's... maybe I'm just... not taking damage. Removing the uh, splash damage from the rocket launcher is really nice. It uh, It is just a reskin of the rocket launcher, but that tiny little change makes it feel like a completely different weapon. It's just like a very powerful single shot projectile. So that's the red key. suppose the blue key will be behind the red key? Oop, wrong way. Oh, symmetrical maps, no! Where am I going? <laughs> Was this the right way? Here we go. Elevator down, yes. Ah, wrong door. Symmetrical maps! Here we go. Ooh. That's a lot of you. Yeah, look at this. These are totally edited Doom textures. Uh, I love that they have the little screen with the little Flemoid on it. Flemoid? Flemoid? I think it's Flemoid. You know, like, like Flem. Somebody really sat down and was like, what is the enemy of breakfast cereal? Uh, uh, green ooze from space. <laughs> well, there's a Hell Knights, I guess. Imps, maybe? Probably imps. Uh, I didn't get the blue key yet. That is the exit, right? It is. Yeah, this is cool. This is way ahead of its time, too. You've clearly marked your exit doors. Exit doors always look like this. <laughs> really cool stuff. Um, oh, it's the, the teleporter. Oh, there's one on the other side, too. Okay. That must be where, where I get blue key. Yes? Oh no, where did you go? I'm 
Refrigerated storage. <laughs> I love that even in the promotional Chex Quest game, they couldn't be like, hey, our cereal is super good for it. Wait, this is the same place? They still had to be like, N no, actually what the cereal is doing is promoting <laughs> the consumption of fruits and vegetables and like water and milk. <laughs> the cereal itself is kind of just an afterthought in its own marketing. I teleported to the wrong one. How did that happen? Are they like on opposite sides? Oh, they are. That's very confusing. Okay. Calm down, Chex Quest. This is supposed to be a kid's game. Making me navigate teleporter mazes on map two. Chill. <laughs> Sorry if you hear any clicking noises. I have a uh, cough drop in my mouth at the moment. I was at a uh, birthday party for a toddler over the weekend. A lot of kids running around and kids are gross. So I worry I may be getting sick. <laughs> Got a bit of a sore throat. Uh, that is the blue key, nice. It is funny as you get older, birthday parties have less and less cake and more and more alcohol. But uh, if you wait long enough, the cake comes back. Suddenly all your friends start having kids and you start getting invited to birthday parties again that are at like, they go from 11 to four, uh, the other 11 to four. <laughs> and you get cupcakes and it's great. I still have six kills to go. Where are they? Probably in secrets. Did I ever? Oh, I never. I, I went through all that trouble to get the blue card and I never went through the blue door. So what is the purpose of this? It's an alternate path to this room. OK, interesting. So not a secret at all, then more of a choose your own adventure. Except, oddly enough, both the red path and the blue path are identical to one another, so uh, that idea doesn't <laughs> doesn't reach its full potential, but it is kind of neat. Hey, let's go. Take that, crate maze. The laboratory. The Chex Laboratory, where our brightest Chex scientists are coming up with new breakfast cereals. <laughs> this is where Chex Oppenheimer invented the the Zorch, the Super Zorcher. I don't, I don't like that. Um, the first, the first bit of world building you get in that opening cutscene is, hey, you know Chex Serial? Uh, they have an intergalactic military, by the way. <laughs> you know what else is weird about the story? They couldn't just be like, oh, we discovered alien life. It's these uh, slime monsters. No, they discover alien life, and that alien life itself is being parasitized by the Flemoids. There's, there's stages to this. They discovered a whole alien ecosystem. Think about that next time you're having breakfast.
So, uh, there's the spork. <laughs> Your regular, uh, don't ask how stabbing them with a spoon teleports them back home. It just does. I suppose the spork is like if you want to eat your cereal and also use the fork part for like grapes, banana slices, toast. I don't know. <laughs> Continental breakfast of some kind. Still no blue key, huh? Where is that blue key? Is that a head of cauliflower? And some carrots? That sure is uh, a choice. Next time you're having some cereal for breakfast, make sure to follow that up with a delicious cauliflower. <laughs> There's the blue key, let's... Try to remember where the blue door is. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of a complete breakfast. Okay. It takes a while in Doom for you to reach levels that require all three keys. Not Chex Quest. In Chex Quest, finding all three keys is pretty much standard. <laughs> there we go. Finally, the shotgun. <laughs> it's kind of a goofy reload animation, because it doesn't really have enough frames to make it look like you're replacing the charge pack. You just kind of take it out and put it back in again. But it's funny, a lot of a lot of games today still sort of have that problem with reloading animations. Just kind of looking like you're taking the magazine out and putting it back in. I'm sure it's the kind of thing that animators fight with whoever's doing the balancing for the game over all the time. Like we, we need an extra half a second for this animation to look good, and the people doing the gameplay balancing are like, no, if you give it an extra half second, it's going to make the gun stats all wonky. Where am I going? This is... This laboratory needs some more signage. Look at this cool little room! These weird non-square shapes. Of all the Doom maps to not use... or overuse square rooms and hallways... Chex Quest could probably get away with just a lot of squares <laughs> and just call it, you know, thematic or uh, it, it's lore accurate for a Czech society to have nothing but square rooms. Right, yellow door. Yellow door is back in that hub. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. Teleport. There it is. Ooh. Don't need the armor, but the secret is nice. What are these? <laughs> Just oxygen tanks? Nitrous? I don't know. I think Brutal uh, Check's Quest makes them explosive, like the barrels in Doom. I wonder if that was the original intent for them before, you know, the, uh, the sort of demand to make this family friendly <laughs> caused them to remove it. 
that an auto map? Computer area map, yeah. Oh, standing on the slime hurts. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Fair enough. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, aliens total conversion. <laughs> I've been meaning to play that forever too. That is the first ever mod I played for Doom way back when it first came out. It scared the absolute crap out of me. <laughs> it's probably not as scary as I remember, but that's because I'm not, you know, five years old anymore. Here we go, blue access. There's two doors for blue. Get out of here. Which one do I want to go down? Oh, and there's a red one. I haven't been to the red one yet. Cool. Welcome to the Chex Borg Cube. <laughs> oh my god. It's not the exit, is it? No. Oh. Oh, 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 ah. Yeah, if this was a modern Doom map, those walls would have dropped away and revealed a bunch of imps and pinkies or something. Oh, dodged that just in time. Come on. Get zorched. Oh. That's the exit. Oh, I wasn't done exploring around. All right, I take it back. Not all the exits look like that, I guess. <laughs> Some of them are a little different. The Arboretum. Yeah, man. Czech society is all about the trees. I am the Chex Warrior, and I speak for the trees. Nice! Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Um, this level obviously wouldn't look like this in the original Chex Quest. Couldn't do uh, translucent ceilings like this originally. But in this remake, that touches up the levels. It's beautiful. Look at that. That is really nice. Those are the kind of little touches that... Oh, look at that! Oh, that's lovely. I bet it was so satisfying to come back to these levels so many years later and make them look like that, <laughs> the way you always sort of imagined them. Reminds me a little bit of the... Uh... Uh, Hacks 2.0. I don't think it's made by the original creator of Hacks, but some fans of, of it. And it kind of does the same thing. It just touches up the levels. Makes them look a little fancier. Is there... Oh, odd. Yeah, there's a slight... Huh. There's a slight auto-aim. I guess this is a separate IWAD from Doom, so GZ Doom's probably not honoring my, uh... <laughs> my Doom settings. <laughs> it's probably got the, uh, auto-aim back on. Yeah, that's fine. Look at this, hydroponics? Is that... <laughs> There's a little, uh, life preserver ring around that pumpkin to keep it floating in the water. That's adorable. I don't think you can grow pumpkins like that in a tank of water, but, uh, you know go off. Hey, why are they growing fruits and vegetables in a cave? What's happening on the surface of Bazoik that they can no longer grow produce in the sunlight? 
There's a lot of questions with big implications that this game brings up and uh, never answers because it's a promotional product to sell a breakfast cereal to children. Don't think about it. <laughs> there we go, blue door. There is a bespoke blue door texture. Interesting that they haven't used it here and have instead used the uh, lines on the side of the door. Perfectly valid way to mark your doors. It's just interesting that they've done both across all these levels. <laughs> I love these tree assets. They're adorable. I wonder if the person who made this also worked on the uh, box art for the cereal itself, because the uh, illustrations all really do look like that kind of art style. That 90s breakfast cereal box art style. Okay, what did that open? Not this, right? This needs the yellow key. Yes. Yes, it does. Wonder if I can get outside. Probably not. It doesn't look like there's anything out there, but I'm sure John Romero would be very happy if you could go out there. <laughs> Who do you think recorded the sounds for the Flemoids? It was somebody's job to go into work that day. <laughs> Imagine you work in marketing at checks. Honey, how was your day at work? Oh, it was fine. I had to make a bunch of goofy sounds into a microphone and pretend to be a, a slime monster. I, I don't understand. How is that going to sell cereal? I, I don't know. There's a new kid at work. He's good at computers. He he promised this would be this would sell cereal. I, I don't know. <laughs> the world's just moving so fast. You can't you can't sell a breakfast cereal like you used to. You got to use a computer now. Boy, this is a Sandy Peterson level if I've ever seen one. Um. Okay, you can go through those vines. Good. Whoa! Oh, they're coming out of the trees! Oh no, you hid it from the map, you absolute bastards. That's fine. Apparently it was right at the exit anyway, which is good. Ah, these must be the caves. Are we expanding? Building a new, uh, new farm over here, maybe? Possibly. Oh, all right. I guess we're going to find out. We're going straight into the caverns. Oh, the mineral mines. Digging up the old fire dust, are we? Or... Chicken nuggets? What are those? Amazing. Chex Quest had a uh, flowing water texture before Doom did. <laughs> oh, are those bats? Holy shit, bats! All right. If you, uh, if you fail to beat the Flemoids here, <laughs> the Chex Warrior is traumatized and becomes the Batman. <laughs> how do I, how do I get in there? Oh. But standing on this probably hurts. Yes, it does. I've got a lot of health. Let me just... There we go. Ah! 
Perfect. Slime proof suit. Oops, I went too far. Uh, red key. Oh, I don't have a red key. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Oh, man. Okay, I guess we're coming back here and taking a bunch of damage when we've got the red key. Oh, man. <laughs> that sucks. Blue key, I don't have that either. Oh, no. Oh, it's all gone wrong so fast. Out of my way, I'm running out of suit. Oh. Whoa, I didn't even... Did you guys come out of the wall? Oh, you did. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Man, this is just like the alien's total conversion. Whoa. Right, cave. that these flemoids were going to mess with our uh, produce production. <laughs> they weren't really messing with the uh, the arboretum that much, but they're really fucking up this cavern. I'm starting to think that general might have been uh, just making stuff up a little bit. What he really wanted was to protect the mineral mines. <laughs> I bet you the Czech's vice president has connections to uh, a mining company. Just went and convinced everybody the Flemoids have got WMDs. All right, that's the uh, red, blue, and yellow key. We got them all. Now, gotta walk through that slime river again. Good thing we got all this health. There we go. <laughs> oh, more bats. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Little slime fountain. What happened to the lighting? The lighting in a lot of the other levels was really moody. Now all of a sudden it's just full bright. That's kind of a shame. <laughs> I love these guys in the power armor and their goofy little bubble helmets. <laughs> hmm. It really is kind of a, like a 50s pulp sci-fi thing. What is going on over there? Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, they were all <laughs> stuck in that room. Great. Get all this stuff. We got some... Not rockets. Zorch propulsors. Oh! There it is. <laughs> the big old flemoid membrane. Is it spawning additional enemies? Is it like the uh, Icon of Sin? Let's see. Come on, do it! Shoot me, I'm right here! Oh! 
No, I don't think it... No, it just... It just shoots a damaging ball. Okay. I thought it was spawning enemies. They must have been coming from somewhere else. Let's kill him. I mean, send him back home to his home planet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's it's the whole breakfast gang. They're all here. Please help us. We're stuck. Don't worry. Just relax. I'll get you out of this gunk. Thanks. Okay. Let's make a break for it. We're almost there. Oh no! Got a break free. Subspace transmission. Congratulations, warrior. You have succeeded in your mission. Your efforts have honored us all. Thank you, Commander. But hold the party mix, because we haven't seen the last of the Flemoids. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you go to that website now, it probably redirects you to the uh, Steam page for Chex Quest HD, unfortunately. Uh, as far as I know, the original Chex Quest is not available anymore from any official channels. Um, the original WADs, you have to. <laughs> you essentially have to pirate them uh, since there's no other way to get them. Or you can get Chex Quest 3 from the. Uh, the author's website. And I'll link that down in the description below, of course. Uh, pretty neat. I'm so glad somebody went and restored the uh, cutscenes. Because those are great. <laughs> it's already such a... such a, a, a clear work of... just passion that somebody made this. Uh, but to then go above and beyond and put animated cutscenes in... The second one with that comic art style is kind of neat. But the first one, they made whole new 3D models <laughs> for those characters and uh, animated them walking around and talking and stuff. That is a whole extra bit of effort they really didn't need to do, and they did it anyway, <laughs> which is really awesome. Cool. Um, so there you have it. That's Chex Quest, at least the first episode. The second one, we'll get around to that in a little bit. Uh, and the third one really excited for because that is full of all kinds of modern stuff that was made pretty recently just a couple years back I believe so we'll see how those those measure up to the first episode later hey thanks for joining me on this nostalgic little adventure until next time you uh, take it easy